the second audio we are doing revision work of the lesson a letter to god now questions from 2019 board question paper first question there is a quotation the only thing the earth needed what only thing did the earth need for two marks answer the only thing the earth needed for a good harvest of corn was a downpour or at least a shower otherwise the field was already ripe with corn and promised a good harvest next question what did lancho write in his letter to god two marks answer after lancho's corn fields were destroyed lancho wrote in his letter to god that if he he here means god if he did not help him he and his family would have to go hungry that year and he needed a hundred pesos to sow his field again and also to live until the next harvest this the next question what type of a man was the postmaster answer this is for one marks one mark the postmaster was a fat amiable person he was kind hearted as shown by his monetary help for lancho who had lost his crops now let us do some questions from the textbook that have been left out on page 5 let us see the third question how did the rain change what happened to lancho's fields answer the rain that was falling normally changed suddenly and along with the rain very large hailstones began to fall the hailstones totally destroyed lancho's ripe corn in the fields with the flowers gone from the plants the next question what were lancho's feelings when the hail stopped answer after the hail stopped lancho's soul was filled with sadness he told his sons that a plague of locusts would not have destroyed that much the hail had 
left nothing and that year they would have no corn. Their hard work was in vain. Without any help, they would go hungry that year. <clears throat> Questions on page 6. Who or what did Lancho have fate in? What did he do? Answer. Lancho had absolute fate in God. He was confident that God would help him in his need and no one in his family would go hungry. Lancho wrote a letter to God asking for his help in the form of a hundred pesos to sow his field again and to live until the next harvest. Next question. Who read the letter? Answer. Lancho's letter to God was read by the postmaster at the post office. Question number three has already been done. Now question on page number seven. Who was Lancho surprised to find a letter for him with money in it? Answer. No, Lancho was not surprised even slightly on finding a letter for him with money in it. He firmly believed that God himself had sent him the money to help him in his distress. Next question. What made him angry? Answer. Lancho became angry when he counted the money in the envelope because he believed that God could not have made the mistake of sending him 30 pesos less than what he had asked for. God could not have denied him the complete amount of hundred pesos. Perhaps he thought that the employees in the post office had taken the money. Now let us see 
some more questions from the text from the section thinking about the text question number 1 who does lancho have complete faith in which sentences in the story tell you this <coughs> answer the first part has already been answered before therefore we are not doing it again the second part the sentences that tell us about lancho's complete faith in god are on page 5 we see all through the night lancho thought only of his one hope the help of god again on page 5 of of the lesson itself it was nothing less than a letter to god again on page 6 of the lesson lancho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money such was his confidence now question number 2 why does the postmaster send money to lancho why does he sign the letter god answer the postmaster sent money to lancho in order not to shake lancho's deep faith in god that god would certainly help him in his time of trouble the postmaster put the signature god on the letter so that lancho would believe that the letter had actually been sent by god himself question number 3 did lancho try to find out who had sent the money to him why why not no no the answer no lancho did not try to find out who had sent the money to him because lancho was convinced that god had received the letter sent by him and god had sent the money he had asked for to help him in his need lancho could not trust any human being to help him now question number 4 who does lancho think has taken the rest of the money what is the irony in the situation answer lancho thinks that the post office employees 
have taken the rest of the money of 30 pesos. He was given only 70 pesos out of 100. The irony in the situation is that Lancho distrusts the post office employees and describes them as a bunch of crooks in his second letter to God. He thinks that the employees had cheated him of his money. Whereas the employees are the ones who had actually given him their hard-earned money as an act of charity in order to help him in his time of need. Question number five. Are there people like Lencho in the real world? What kind of a person would you say he is? Answer. Yes, there are people like Lencho in the real world who simply believe in things unquestioningly. The lives of such people are centered around unshakable fate. Lencho can be described as naive or innocent and unquestioning. Question number six. There are two kinds of conflict in the story between humans and nature and between humans themselves. How are these conflicts illustrated? Conflicts means clash or struggle. The answer is the conflict or clash or struggle between humans and nature has been illustrated in the form of Lancho working hard in his fields and growing corn and dependent on the weather for a good harvest. A downpour or a shower would have served Lancho's purpose. But along with the rain came very large hailstones that destroyed Lancho's crop. But he doesn't lose heart and had already made up his mind to sow his field again and wait for the next harvest. The conflict between humans themselves has been illustrated by showing Lancho as a man who didn't expect any fellow human being to help him. He only expected help from God. Do the employees in the post office helped him with money? He distrusts them and suspects them of cheating him by taking his money. And the employees of the post office could not have formed a positive opinion of Lancho after reading his second letter to God. In that letter, he mentions the employees as a bunch of crooks. 
they might have thought of Lancho to be an ungrateful person. That's all. Thank you, students. All the best for your exam.